All right, everyone. I want to show you guys quickly. This is a uh, this is the new Acer Iconia W510. This is running the full Windows uh, 8 uh, operating system. So we'll take a quick look. As you can see, it comes in a very very small box. As you can see here. So let's go ahead and open this up real quick and see what you get in here. As you can see here, it comes in a very 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 small box. Um, there's a Konya W5, it's the model number. But this is a 510 series. There is a 5 or W511 series which has the 3G built in. This one's just a regular 510 which doesn't have the uh, 3G built in. So let's take a look in here. What do you get in the box real quick? And I'll go over really quick on it and maybe make a little quick overview. You get your normal, this is pretty nice, they included the uh, shortcuts because uh, many of these with Windows 8, you're not too aware of these shortcuts uh, to use the keyboard. And you get a quick start guide here, kind of shows you what you can do on your new Iconia here, W5, W510, shows you how to plug it in, that's pretty easy standard. Um, here's another... Another one, I believe it's probably the same one, stuck in twice. Uh, actually, let me see, it might be different language. No, but this is a different one. Again, this is using the Atom processor. This is the new dual core uh, Atom processor. This always, this is an always on device, meaning uh, with this new Atom Intel has just brought out. This device never goes actually to sleep or hibernates. Um, it basically runs like your smartphone. It's always connected. It's always on. Battery life is outstanding on these devices. Um, these are actually, I've done the Samsung T500 Smart PC. Uh, that one I've been getting like 13 to 14 hours battery life. Uh, and that's just on the tablet itself. This one is claiming 9 hours battery life, but we'll do some testing and see. Um, usually the Samsung as well said 9 hours, so I might be able to get more hour out of this. They also have a dockable keyboard, which will extend the hours to 19 hours of um, running time. So that, that's really good. Processors is able to handle Windows 8 with no problems. So I do, if you're looking for something in a tablet to be more than a, a iPad or Android device, uh, you might, you need to be looking seriously into one of these devices with the atom processor because that's what uh, will give you the great battery life here it is as you can see let's see what's in the box um, Acer is included a little cleaning cloth for the screen nice little gesture there they have a uh, another little package here of everything that comes with it it's basically a little quick start guide and it tells you, shows you how to access the charms when you're in the Windows. Uh, they also they've included is a restore disk, as you can see here. So if you want to restore the device back, which is pretty good, the 32-bit Windows 8. Let's put this back in here. And again, the eight, um, Acer is also claimed on there. Here. Acer has claimed that um, you can only use 32 gigabyte. Uh, micro SD cards. I got a 64 gigabyte here, so we'll go, I'll go ahead and test this out as well. See if it actually is able to do, handle a 64. This is a 32 gigabyte um, SSD card, or sorry, micro SD card. So we'll test those out and see in these little boxes. Uh, here you go. They've included this is the connector because they use only one power adapter which depending on what country they're sending it to so this is the US version so they'll send you the US version we'll take that out and they've also included a uh, since this has a micro um, USB so it doesn't have a full size USB on the tablet itself but they've included this adapter so you can use a hard drive external keyboards mouse whatever you like to use with it basically I, I would use that just for hard drives because um, it does have Bluetooth so you can buy a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard and hook it up and hook it up to like a regular monitor so you can see here is a package let's take this out there's nothing else in that little box here on that side we'll unwrap this real quick 
and just kind of show you guys this just basically slips kind of turns there that way doesn't matter which way you go I think yeah there's only one way so yeah so if you had a traveling out of state you know you just get this off depending where you're going and it's got its own type of connection in there as you can see it doesn't have a USB type so let's go ahead and uh, let me show you guys quickly let's let me take a look at the device real quick I won't power it up yet um, I'll, I'll stop the video and then power it up and then just go over real quick just show you the performance on these devices as you can see it's very very nice um, let me see device here uh, here is the little docking um, ports for the keyboard this is where it will lock in place and this is the charging port that's where you would connect this to charge it and it also charges when you're on the dock keyboard dock that's where it would charge on the side here you have the speaker here very you know very nice to have on the side some have on the back or on the bottom so when you're using it um, or actually maybe it might block if you're holding it like this but we'll, we'll see we'll take a look might be a bad idea to keep it on this side this low maybe up above would have been better um, here's a micro SD slot there's your micro USB connector here's a mini uh, micro HDMI connector again this is what well, if you got an adapter like this with a micro and a regular HDMI you can actually use this for your an external you know plasma TV LED TV whatever you like or your monitor and this can become a full on Windows device that you can use on and off our volume controls there there's the mic here on the top we have um, the power uh, button uh, there's the the lock switch here itself right there you can see okay. and there's your headset there and above there's nothing else and again over here on this side there's basically nothing but the speaker here in the back you'll find it's got of course um, the Windows 8 sticker that um, as you can see this is a very small device you, I can basically hold it with my one hand this is very nice portable um, this is going to be more in the competition not competition but more in the uh, area like uh, your iPad and your Android devices that are small this is a 10.1 inch screen so this is very nice for portability for working wise I, I, I personally prefer a 11.6 and above um, but this I really prefer this for on the go because you can still do your documents word and do your stuff you need to do on the road with no compromises with the Windows applications. So let's click in here. It's got another sticker here that's just basically this is a Bluetooth radio. Uh, there's your NFC uh, area here. So if you have NFC in your field communications device, you can put them together to transfer um, applications, files, and things like that. What you have, you not. Here's got the 8 megapixel camera with the LED and this little I believe is a little light that turns on when um, the camera's on so you won't surprise anybody you're videotaping or taking pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick and then I'll go ahead and I'll go and bear the boot up process it takes it this actually doesn't take too long to uh, configure these but um, it's got a EMC SATA drives so that those are very quick Okay, yeah, we're back here uh, again. Let's see. Wanted to show you guys um, a very nice device. It's able to. It's very fluid and everything, as you can see. Um, you can uh, click like this. Uh, if you want to go ahead and rename a group, you can name it right here by squeezing down, and then you can type in whatever group name you want. You can uh, go back up high. Just remember to pinch down uh, hold down slide down and then you'll get the pop-up here to rename groups but as you can see everything's very fast um, everything works just basically uh, like you will need it if you're just using this device to um, for reading this is what made me these little small devices to me not that they can't 
not work as a full computer because this is a full Windows computer. This is full Windows 8. This is not the RT version. So this is, you can uh, load up your applications you normally have on your desktop. Of course, if you're running Photoshop and these high-end video editors, this won't be doing too good. But there is a, a power, there's Power DVD by Cyberlink that has a Metro app that you'll be able to actually do um, editing videos here basically you know just basic but they it does a good job I, I at least i tried it on the on my Samsung Mativ that i was testing and it worked out really good so as you can see everything is very quick and snappy it loads up like just you normally would and everything is like let's go ahead and now open this one up just to give you guys a quick look this talk about the latest app on your uh, iPhone device it's a subway app and what it will tell you is when you're and it's very loud as you can see actually the speakers are very nice uh, I can see there's a sensor here in this corner too as well that's probably for the light light sensor so because it's got an automatic light sensor as well let me lower this down so the speakers are pretty nice at that so you, you can see that everything is working very nice Let's do another uh, video here. Global markets and U.S. businesses and taxpayers are cracking their collective knuckles to see what or if a deal on the fiscal... Yeah, it's working very really nice Washington. here, you can see. What politicians agree to by December 31st? And this is another nice thing is uh, I can go here and you can go, as you can see, you can switch between applications and you can slide again to the corner and be viewing the video you like there and just kind of read as you can see you can be reading your book if you like here on the side go to another application uh, as you can see you can be browsing the internet and also be watching the news on the corner side here or you can go to any other um, any other setting you want here and you can move this also to the side make this one bigger and choose another let's go back here um, let's go choose another setting here or another let's go to this um, as you can keep this on the side here like you see here and it works very good um, it's more, you know, very good to for uh, media consumption, reading. Again, you can do your your Word documents, Excel. So it's working very nice. As you can see, it's very responsive. It's, I mean, there's no delay in this. Uh, and while you have other things running in the side, and you can see read article, makes you come back here, go back. I can go this way uh, you can keep your weather on the side if you like so it's a very nice device as you can see so let's quickly take a look and see um, I'll go ahead and put the 64 gigabyte micro SD card here and as you can see it did detect it so it looks like you'll be okay to put any 64 gigabyte card let's take a look yep and as you can see here it is showing the 64 gigabyte card uh, let's go to properties as you can see there um, it does show up so it does work so if you're planning on getting one of these uh, picking this up um, don't worry 64 gigabyte card does work showing there completely it does so we don't have to put the 32 gigabyte but if you guys want to see we'll go ahead and stick the 32 in here and show that it does load up as well properties and there you go so that was just a quick look on the Acer Iconia <clears throat> W510 very nice device very actually very light as you can see and very thin this is a I mean very very thin device as you can see here I really like the the size of this it's going to be a very nice it will be a makes a very nice portable device 
So if you guys are wanting to get something that's kind of like an iPad replacement or something like that in that nature, an Android device, then that you need to run full Windows. But then you didn't want to carry a bigger device like the 11.6 inch devices. You might want to take a look at this uh, Arconius Acer's W510 and you might want to take a look at it. Thanks for watching.